Dynamic TPMS Solutions welcomes you to our TPMS training series. This is module one of the series, Introduction to TPMS. For those who are new to TPMS service, the initials TPMS stand for Tire Pressure Monitoring System. In this module, we'll cover what is a tire pressure monitoring system and what does it do, the history of TPMS, what are the benefits of the system, and how a typical tire pressure monitoring system works. So what exactly is a TPMS and what does it do? A TPMS equipped vehicle has an electronic network of sensors that alert the driver of a low tire pressure condition. The system alerts the driver visually by illuminating an icon on the dashboard that looks like a cross section of a tire with an exclamation point inside. This TPMS malfunction indicator light, or MIL, will illuminate differently depending on which of two conditions have occurred. A solid indicator light means that one or more tires have dropped 25% below the OEM recommended placard tire pressure. And a blinking indicator light means the electronic TPM system has malfunctioned. How did the tire pressure monitoring system get started? TPM systems are federally mandated safety systems created in reaction to a rash of vehicle rollover deaths in the 1990s caused in large part by vehicles with underinflated tires. After congressional hearings on this problem, legislation called the TREAD Act was signed into law in November 2001. As of September 2007, the U.S. Department of Transportation, through NHTSA, requires the installation of a tire pressure monitoring system on all new passenger vehicles under a gross vehicle weight of 10,000 pounds. The federal mandate began with a phase-in period in model year 2006, and by model year 2008, all vehicles were required to be equipped with a TPMS. What are the benefits of the tire pressure monitoring system? First and foremost is safety. It's a fact that driving on underinflated tires can be very dangerous and if not corrected could eventually lead to a serious accident. Properly inflated tires result in improved performance and vehicle handling. Keeping tires properly inflated will increase fuel economy. And finally, properly inflated tires will extend tread life and last longer, as well as avoid damage to the tire, rendering it unsafe to use. Now let's look at how a typical tire pressure monitoring system works. Inside each tire of a vehicle equipped with the most common system is a sensor. The sensor is attached right at the base of the valve stem. Periodically, the sensor measures the temperature and pressure inside each tire and transmits that information to an onboard receiver via a low frequency RF signal. If the pressure in any tire measures 25% below the OEM recommended pressure, the TPMS warning light on the dash is illuminated to alert the driver. The warning light remains lit until sufficient air is added to the problem tire. Let's review what we covered in this module. The Tire Pressure Monitoring System, or TPMS, electronically alerts the driver of a low tire pressure condition on the vehicle. Congress passed the TREAD Act in 2001 to make TPM systems mandatory in new vehicles by 2008. Safety, better fuel economy, and prolonged tire life are the chief benefits of the TPMS. Most TPM systems work with sensors in each tire that can signal a malfunction indicator light on the dash to light when a low tire pressure threshold has been exceeded. Thank you for watching Module 1 of Dynamic TPMS Solutions Training Series. 